Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. Hopping right on into today's topic. Today, I wanna to do my almost now annual tradition of ranking my own personal favorite amp sims for metal music. Amp sims just seem to be the way of the world right now with recording guitars and heavy guitars, man. So yeah, they're just coming out every single month, presumably, from all these amazing different brands and different companies. So I wanna do this video today to kinda of sorta of compile my thoughts and opinions of what I personally think are the best and give, you know, my few reasons why I think so, okay? Before I go any further with this video, before we go any further with this video, I ask that you leave your favorite amp sim down below in the comments section and let me know if I missed any because a lot of these amp sims this year on this list in 2023, I got a lot of um, insight and kind of um, recommendations, I guess we'll say, from you guys, from you guys leaving your thoughts and opinions down below in the comments of other videos. Anyway, man, yeah, if you want to play along, I'd really appreciate it, okay? So the criteria for my favorite amp sim in terms of ranking is mostly just like what I find most inspiring and what I like to pull up on my computer when I'm jamming and or recording and creating, okay? But I also try to be objective in the sense that I try to think about like what are the different features offered in an amp sim as well as the price and just the user friendliness and you know, all the above, okay? All right, let's go, man. Number 10, Mixwave from Jason Richardson. Jason Richardson's second signature plugin from a different company, actually. He was with JST and I'm not sure if the JST Jason Richardson's still a thing. Anyway, man, I think the Mixwave Jason Richardson is leaps and bounds better than his previous rendition that, you know, is now six, seven, eight years old, something like that. Now, I will say, I think the rhythm tones in this amp sim aren't necessarily my favorite. However, I love the cleans and the leads in this plugin. That's, you know, to be expected, especially with Jason Richardson's type of playing. Yeah, dude, I think it's really cool, man. And uh, Luke and Jason have created just an awesome duo of just sonic goodness as of late. So yeah, dude. Makes way Jason Richardson, pretty rad. Number nine, Archetype John Petrucci. Now, I will say this, and I will admit this, I was on the record several times on this channel for saying when John Petrucci's Archetype came out, I wasn't that stoked, just in the sense that it was just another Archetype. We had gotten a lot of Archetypes from Neural DSP, and you know, I still kind of stand by that statement to this day. However, gonna give credit where credit's due, Archetype John Petrucci is pretty rad. The main thing I love about it is the transpose knob, the down to knob. That's super rad, man. And I think that was the first rendition of all the archetypes to include that. So yeah, man, you have the ability to essentially switch tunings and have a drop pedal in an amp sim. That's really, really handy. But then it also comes with the tried and true tones you would expect from John Petrucci. That is awesome high gain tones, lead tones, clean tones, a piezo type of sound or an acoustic amp type of sound. It's pretty cool, dude. Um, not necessarily my favorite from Neural DSP. You'll see other ones here up on this list, but I gotta give credit where credit's due again, man. In terms of just variety of tones to include metal tones this one really is awesome number eight an oldie but a goodie that is stl tones is will putney tonality suite can't believe this amp sim's going on four years old now you believe that four years old i remember when this thing came out just like it was yesterday how fast time's going right but yeah dude it's a it's a classic at this point now it's it's been around for a long long time but i love using this amp sim a lot. You have the ability to blend the different amps and cabs inside the plugin. One of the first amp sims to do that from my own personal experience. It's really easy on your computer, meaning it doesn't crash your computer. The CPU usage, at least from my own naive experience, I'm not a computer wizard or you know, uh, part of the geek squad per se, but I've never had it really crash my computer, so that's super rad. And it just sounds great, man. You have all of Will's tones up until 2019. A lot of his album tones are kind of recreated in this amp sim. Not to mention you have a diesel VH4, a Triple Crown, a Bogner Ubershaw, and a PV5150. Yeah, dude, like, it sounds sick, dude. So, uh, it's a classic, but I love it, man. Yeah, number eight, Tonality Bull Putney. Speaking of oldies, we're going way back, almost five years now. We're going to Neural GSP's Fort Nameless. I've said it a million times on this channel, but yeah, dude, Fort Nameless, in my opinion, still to this day, is the most recognizable amp sim tone. It's unbelievable. It's just like a super hot rodded, like, Marshall Plexi type of sound, but like, on steroids and up to 20, not even up to 11, like cranked up to the max and it is tough to tame. It's gnarly sounding, but it is just fun to play with and it's inspiring, dude. No real bells and whistles with this thing, no real frills. It's just like stripped down, just like kind of does one thing really, really good. And that is just that Meshuga kind of clanky, just gnarly sound and it does it immaculately. Yeah, man, so it's old now at this point, it's like half a decade old but it is still to this day one of my favorites of all time. Number six, this one will surprise you. It's two years old and it wasn't on last year's list, but I'm gonna put it here. JST's Toneforge Jeff Loomis. Yeah, dude, I know it kind of like crept up on me as of late and I kind of just pulled it back up and I was just jamming and creating and writing stuff for, you know, releases out for 2023. And 
I found myself just always gravitating towards it. It has an amazing 5150 type of sound, but it also does something really cool with the built-in reverb pedal, and that is just like soundscapey ambient stuff and texture stuff in the background. The combination of the rhythm sounds that I really like, as well as that, like it just said, the soundscapey ambient stuff, I really find myself using Toneforge JST a lot, dude. The only gripe I have with it is it is rather CPU heavy. Um, just again, from my own personal experience, you get like those kind of cliche and expected pops and clicks from your computer and your DAW. So you gotta like increase the buffer and stuff like that. That's the only gripe I have with Toneforge JST. However, the sounds are really, really good. And you know, to be expected, Jeff Loomis is a connoisseur O-Tone and uh, yeah, it's rad, dude. Number five is probably my favorite Amsim of all time, but it is no longer the quote unquote best. And that is STL Tones Tonality Andy James. I use this one almost every single day. It's my tried and true go-to when I just want to practice or jam really easy on my computer. It sounds great. I love the lead tones, especially with the Amp 2 6505 type of sound. It's got a Vox AC30 if you want that as well, but I just really love the rhythm sound and I love a lot of the lead sounds in this Amp Sim. Almost all my Instagram reels and TikToks I use this Amp Sim. It's just so easy to record with. One great sound just right out of the box and you can tweak it obviously, but it just does what it does very, very well. And it's just really easy to use and I just love it, man. Number four seems to be everybody's favorite in terms of high gain from Neural GSP, and that is the Archetype Gojira. This one was big when it came out about two years ago now. Yeah, it's awesome, dude. It's Neural GSP's best high gain amplifier, or amp sim in my opinion. I just think it does everything absolutely immaculately. Ton of different presets from all the heavy hitters in the industry, like Loathe, that was super rad to see it, a Loathe preset bank. Um, but yeah, man, obviously Gojira tones and anything in between. It's really cool, man. I love it. I use it quite frequently. Not as much as some of the other ones here on this list, but like I said, got to give credit where credit's due. And I know there's a ton of different features built in and just a ton of different just gnarly tones in this amp sim. So yeah, dude, Archetype Gojira definitely belongs on this list. All right, we got three to go. My number three was my number one last year, but it is now taking the bronze medal in this list. And that is STL Tones' Amp Hub. If you don't know what Amp Hub is, it's different than all the other amp sim I've named in this video. Amp Hub is like basically a virtual rig builder that you can constantly add on and buy stuff and have the ability to use new stuff as it's being built. What I mean by that is every single month, presumably, STL Tones comes out with a new pedal, a new modeled amp, a new cab, a new something, a new effect, basically. And if you have the subscription service with Amp Hub, you can download the different modeled amplifiers or pedals or whatever that they come out with that month and include it in your rig. And that is something unique, man, because most of these amp sims that I've named in this video, you kind of just buy it and that's what you get. Now, obviously there's different updates every so often with, with amp sims, but you know what I mean? Like, generally speaking, when you buy it, that's kind of what it is. Amp Hub's different. Amp Hub's just like a, a virtual, just cloud rig builder type of deal. So I love it, man. It was one of the first amp sim tones to kind of model a Boss HM2. That was cool. I don't know, a little sentimental value to me because I love that pedal. It's just so gnarly. But yeah, man, Amp Hub's cool and it's still growing to this day. Number two, Brand new to this list and brand new to my channel, relatively speaking, I stumbled upon this amp sim when collaborating with Slate Digital in the summer of 2022, and that is the Overloud THU amp sim. Similar to Amp Hub, it's a virtual rig builder of sorts, but I absolutely love one amplifier, one modeled amplifier in this amp sim, and that is the Randall T2. This thing sounds so gnarly. Very similar to like the Fortin Nameless sound, but more refined and more controlled. Super tight, super gnarly. Ah, oh, man, I'm out of adjectives other than super. It just sounds so sick, dude. I highly recommend you guys checking this thing out. And like I said, man, I had never heard of it until I started working with Slate Digital. I did a, a sponsored video for them last year and that came in with the sponsorship. Yeah, dude, thank you to Slate Digital for showing me that because like I use that one second to Andy James Tonality. I use it almost all the time. And dude, it just is just so gnarly sounding. I love it, man. But Number one, the best amp sim for metal guitar tones, as the title of this video suggests. We're talking about metal amp sims here. Number one is the Auto Audio 1111. Thank you guys, the viewers, for letting me know about this amp sim. I had never really heard about it. I kind of had to like maybe seen some stuff in passing, but just didn't grab my attention until you guys, the viewers, put it down below in the comments of a couple of videos like, yo, check out the 1111. And I was kicking myself for waiting for so long or not having discovered it and, you know, a shorter amount of time because once I found it, I was like, yep, yeah, that's, yeah, that's my new favorite. That's number one. Like automatically went right up to the top. <sighs> number one, the Audio Audio 1111 is just gnarly, dude. It's just, it, it is unapologetic. It's just in your face. 
you have the ability to do like a stereo effect just ah man i don't know dude just like so sick you know what i mean like the 1111 has an abundance of presets don't let me undersell that it has a ton of different features there but apart from that man it's just like in your face metal tones through and through i love it man i love it i love it i love it i'm recording and writing as we speak right now at the time of this filming and the 1111 is 95 percent of all the guitar tones that i've been using it's just in your face super sick dude and i just can't i can't say it enough man like i just <laughs> you guys gotta try it, is all i'm trying to say it really is something different and something just incredibly unique there's a certain level of like depth and three dimensions with this amp sim so it's the best way i could describe it and uh yeah man highly recommend you guys checking it out okay so everybody my annual best metal amp sim list is done what do you guys think of my thoughts and opinions if you guys are interested in my own personal thoughts there's in-depth videos on like 99 percent of all these amp sims on my channel go check it out man go do some research yourself and just take my word for it man like if you guys want to just try any of these amp sims you won't be disappointed you know i'm not selling anything here i'm just you know hanging out talking about guitar tones but yeah man all these amp sims that i've mentioned in this video you guys won't be disappointed okay with that being said everybody i'm gonna get out of here thank you guys so much for watching if you're brand new to my channel be sure to subscribe with that being said stay safe stay healthy stay metal see you guys next time later